Hey guys, it's Kevin Place here, and today this is the first unboxing I'm going to do on this channel. So, here we have today, I've got a special one that I've had for like a few months. Just never got time to build it or anything. So this is what it is. This is Supermarine Spitfire Mark VP. And model kit. So I'm going to do an unboxing. This is what it's supposed to look like when it's finished. As you can see, even the little figure guy comes with it. So that's the Spitfire. I'm going to unbox it and show you guys what it looks like inside. I'm not going to build it. Cause I'm not going to build it on this video because it'll take like a few days to build. Because you know me, I can't, I don't have time. But hopefully it'll take like only like two to three days to build this since I'm on holiday. As you can see, it was 70% off. When my granddad bought it, it was 60 pound. Then 30 pound, now it's 18. As you can see, focus, there. 18 pound. So I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna unbox it, build it straight away. Well, not build it like straight away on the video, but like, you know, build it probably off of cam. So I'm going to place you guys up here. So guys, this is what it looks like. As you can hear that. Hear that. It's an unboxing uh, Spitfire. So I've got scissors. I'm just going to take these scissors out. So we'll just do it quite easily. Alright, so we're going to We'll leave the back sellotape on, just in case anything falls out. So I'm now opening up the box. There's one of the pullback things. So yeah, as you can see, hold on guys, you see just a blank. So this is what it says. So this is the guy who flew the first ever Spitfire MKVB. So his name was Jan Zumbach. Famous Polish Battle of Britain fighter ace flew the EN 951-303 SQN from late September 1941. Uh, so that would be like World War One or two. Not sure. Earlier in the year, Jan was posted back to 303 as a flight commander, and only two months later he was promoted to squadron leader and appointed to command. The squadron, a duty he performed from May until December 1942. Uh, yeah, that's the guy, just the second paragraph. Uh, it was during this period Zumbach had three personal Spitfires, all of them MKVBs, code RFD, and all adorned with a Donald Duck symbol in the cockpit. So that's the, that's the Donald Duck, apparently, in the cockpit. Looks better on that one, in the cartoon version. Anyway, so on the left hand side for the third, Donald, the artwork, was unprisingly larger. Guys, sorry, I've got sniffles today. Uh, more detailed than on the previous two machi machines. Similarly, his personal tally was marked by crosses on the left hand side. Confirmed kills being outlined in white, probably in red and damaged with outline. So that's the kills he's got. So it was like the axis sign. Focus. There next to the Donald Duck. So that's the kills. I'm gonna put you guys back up here. It's not a good sound, but like it'll do. So we're open it. Oh dear, I haven't, I haven't opened the cellotape, I thought I did. I did definitely. Right, I've opened it. Right, right. so in this bag, we've got... So 15 
acrylic paints, we've got two paint brushes and two poly cement. So poly cement is what holds the model together. It's uh, cement for plastic. So in here we've got that all of it. So I'm gonna put that here in the top corner of my desk. The second one, the big one. is the actual plane itself. Oh my yeah this will take me like a few days so put that there. And here got some tracing paper because we're, what we're gonna do is trace that. And are these stickers? Nah these are not stickers. Somewhere I think. No maybe not. <laughs> so yeah that's like the trace, we have to trace them out, so as you can see the Donald Duck one right in there, that's not going to be my favourite, um, the Spitfire signs here, all the way to the middle, so like the full middle row, we've got six Spitfire signs, at the bottom we've got about like, about 40 different tracing and that's oh, what's this? Ah. so guys if you want to join the airfix club all you have to go is well if you want to join it it's £16.99 uh, you get exclusive club edition kits so like you get the submarine the supermarine submarine the sub supermarine here. So we get the Supermarine Spitfire. You can my my first one that I built was the Red Arrow. Cause I, I was like I fell in love with them. Now I'm all into like World War Two. Um, planes. So like the Spitfire, the Stuka, bombers, anything you name it. Best one is probably the Spitfire Hurricane and the Stuka. That was nice. May get some Russian planes though. So guys, as you can see, that's everything we've got. So like, if you guys want to buy that, just go to www.com airfix no www.airfix.com slash uh, Supermarine Spitfire MK VB and it will take you straight to that plane and you will get it so yeah also I'll that's the club club sheet I'll probably give that away you know to join it you need to fill in all these like name surname all that I'll give that away so if you want it just comment uh, Airfix Club, then subscribe, comment done. All the rules will be in the description down below. So you guys can get our Airfix Club and get an exclusive edition kit, club edition kit. Oh, and also you'll receive our in uh, guys. If I went silent, there you go. I was just reading that. Right, so you'll also receive uh, our Airfix passport, uh, wall calendar, discounts of magazine subscriptions, uh, subscriptions, and yeah, plus many other special discounts. I'll give that away. You guys can read it. And yeah, so all the rules will be in the description. So if you guys want the air to join the Airfix club. Uh, yeah, so also before before if you want it, uh, I'm just gonna give you a tip. Where did you find this leaflet? Pick product. All right. Product. Um, pick no for are you existing member. And yeah, so you find that on the back, and this is the front. That's the back. So guys. Rules in description, and I'll see you later. Peace.